Hey everyone, Effie here. Today I'll be making some DIY custom recipe cards using our six by eight inch recipe card stamp. This is a really neat set that allows you to create your own four by six inch recipe card. It has all the different elements that you need to create your card. You have two stamps here, the two largest stamps in this set. This one that I'm taking off right now, these are lines that will go across your six inch card. And then you have this stamp, uh, actually there are two stamps on my Misty, but the larger stamp that's on the Misty has two columns of lines with a line going right down the middle. And then I also have this one on my Misty. It's the horizontal layout of um, of more of the details that you usually include on your recipe card. So let's get to stamping. I'm using our light onyx dye ink to stamp the lines and Again, I said there are two stamps on my Misty and I'm just using the same light onyx ink to stamp both at the same time. And this is gonna help me mass produce. I'm going to turn that recipe card over and then stamp the other large stamp from the set, the one with the lines going all the way across. This is the area that I'll write in the directions of my recipe. Next, I'll use the script font for the recipe title. And I'm going to stamp this using our Cosmopolitan Pink Hybrid Ink. However, I am gonna switch this ink up later with the Soft Garnet Ink because I think that the color just goes better with the overall design. Next, I'm gonna stamp some additional things onto my card. I created that checkbox up in the top right-hand corner and then the ingredients list as well. And then for uh, the back page, I included notes. And then now I flipped it back over and included a difficulty checklist. And then I flipped it back over and then added the directions title. So I kind of went back and forth until I was happy with the layout of my card. Now that the basic stamping is done, I'm going to move on to the more decorative stamping. I'm going to use the individual floral elements in our transformation stamp set. And I'm stamping them in our crystal pewter dye ink which is a really light gray ink. I'm going to add the floral and foliage images along these two corners and right along the recipe uh, word or title. Then I'll flip my card over and add some additional stamping to the bottom portion of my card. Once I'm done stamping I'm going to color everything in using colored pencils. During my stamping session I made five recipe cards in total. When you're mass producing, I consider five in one sitting mass producing. So when you're mass producing anything, you want to keep your process really simple. So I'm keeping my coloring extremely simple here. I'm taking my color pencil and I'm just adding some really simple shading to my floral. I'm going into the inner portions of my petals and I am just kind of bringing my strokes out and I'm feathering them as I get closer to the edges of the petal and I'm applying the same technique to the entire floral. If you're unsure of where to add the shading, just follow the curves of your floral and try to visualize where the petals are in relation to each other. So if you have two petals and one petal is in front of another petal, that petal in the back is going to be slightly darker. So along the curve of the rear petal, you want to add some darker shading. And if you're really confused as to where to add the shading, just make sure you have a nice dark area in your floral and then there's a light area somewhere along the petal. When you have those two kind of contrasting shades in uh, one area, you add interest that way. I'm showing you most of the coloring so that you can see exactly where I add color. For the foliage, I use a light green and then a dark green. I never really put too much effort into coloring my foliage or leaf images, and this applies across all mediums when I'm water coloring. It's, I do my, I usually color in my foliage very, very quickly. And the same goes for my color pencil. I just add the light green, and then once the most of that leaf is colored in with that lighter shade, I'm going to just add a little bit of dark green detailing. If one leaf isn't colored the same way as another leaf, you're not going to notice once everything is done. Because once you're done, you're going to take a step back and you're going to look at your project as a whole and you're not going to notice the little bits of details that you'll usually notice as 
your coloring. So you need to take a step back and just walk away from your project sometimes. And when you come back, it's going to look really great. I included this bit in the video because I want to show you how I masked the stamps on the Misty to stamp some of the words on the front of the card and then some of the words on the rear of the card. So here, uh, as soon as I'm finished stamping the front of the card, I just mask these three stamps with some washi tape to continue stamping uh, behind my recipe card. And this is going to save me time so that I don't have to remove stamps and whatnot. And also if you have a limited number of misties, great way to maximize the use of the space of your one or two misties. So here I'm just showing you how quickly I stamped the back of my recipe cards along that bottom portion. I'm using the same stamp to stamp all five cards and then I'll move on to the next image. And this is so that I'm not constantly taking stamps on and off uh, for each card as I move on to the next. So I'm kind of doing this assembly line style. And that is all from me today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's project and video. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel because I update it regularly. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Bye.